the Niffler's been having babies. I know, it's a big deal. If you thought Daddy Niffler was uh, seen stealing the little baby ones, like, you know, don't work with animals and babies, and we're doing both, basically. This is equally as magical in a very different way um, as the first film. It's got darker. You can see uh, where we leave it off at the end of the first film. There's a, a strong sense of foreboding and... It's got intensified in some ways. There's, there is adventure, there's humor. But also there are new beasts and characters from the Harry Potter world, but definitely the dark clouds are rolling in. The stakes are high. When you've written this book, his book's been published. You'd think that would be a joyous thing, um, but it's what's come with it is a bit of celebrity, which he's, uh, he's not that keen on, on being known. The ministry isn't letting him leave the country. So when you see him, he's kind of in some ways had his wings clipped, but you begin, hopefully, those wings begin to flourish again as the movie moves on. We find Tina in Paris, along with many other members of the original cast and some new characters. She is looking for credence. There are people after him for different reasons, and obviously, Tina cares about him a great deal and is trying to get to him first. Credence has been on a journey. From the time when we saw him last, he is uh, reformed somewhat. He is on a quest of sorts, and he's been sort of scrapping it on the streets of New York, and then he boards a boat. He goes to Europe. He joins a circus, this sideshow, and trying to understand himself. I'm still nervous, I'm always nervous because I love Queenie so much and it's quite an interesting uh, journey that she takes on this film and it's challenging as an actress and and there is like a part of me that's like, yeah, no, people people like the first ones, are, but you know, you still are like, but I hope they like the second one too, you know? Theseus is the polar opposite of Newt. In a sense, they're both fighting the good fight, but Newt is part of the rebellion movement and Theseus is the establishment. Dumbledore has always seen, seen Newt for who he is, and despite his, him being rejected by various people, him not fitting templates and norms, in this film, you kind of get a sense of their relationship. You know, given that we go back, you know, we, we see Dumbledore at Hogwarts and maybe even go back in time a little bit, you want Hogwarts to feel as it did in the, in, in, in the Potter films. Yeah, it's amazing. On a scale from one to stone, Stoked, stoked. I had a couple weeks off and was doing some other work and was elsewhere for a little while. And I came back, they were like, you know, mostly just the same stuff, except there was that great week when we went to Hogwarts and I was like, what the literal F word are you talking about? You went to Hogwarts. And they were like, yeah, we went to Hogwarts to shoot the, I was like, nobody called me. I was like, what devil's whisker compelled you to not just send me a text? Hey, come back, we're going to Hogwarts. I actually thank you for holding this interview in this space because I'm getting, this is the department of, this is the department du magie. Yeah? Yes. Sick.